For anyone who knows a little bit about photography, you guys probably heard of lens filters before or actually have lens filters in your kit. There are many, many different lens filters all serving its own purpose, but the two that I used are the ND filters and the circular polarizer filters. Now briefly, what the ND filter does is it just cuts the amount of light that comes through your lens resulting in a darker image and you want that if you're shooting in a faster aperture. So for video wise, this comes really handy for me since I do a lot of cinematic B-roll and that shallow depth of field look in my videos. Now a circular polarizer just reduces the glare such as the car. I do a lot of car photography. This is basically what this channel is revolved on automotive car related stuff so and I capture a lot of photos and videos of that and a circular polarizer just cuts the glare and all the nasty stuff that you see without a circular polarizer. So for me these two types of lenses are essential for my kit and I use them every single time I go out to shoot. So recently I actually invested in two lenses I basically spent all my money. I think I have zero dollars in my bank account now. These are actually pre-owned, so I didn't even buy it off the site. That's just how expensive they are. I actually bought the ND filter and the circular polarizer for a total of $280. If I were to buy this actually off the website, I'll be spending $250 for the ND filter and another $200 for the circular polarizer. So in total, I'll be spending $450 for two lens filters. And you guys might be wondering why do you need to spend that much? It's a waste of money. What's the point of all this? And the reason why I bought these two and spent all my money on it is because they are Polar Pro quartz line lenses. I don't want to really talk really deeply about this. You guys could research this on your own. There's plenty of YouTube videos about these Polar Pro quartz line filters. But in brief, I just bought these to try to increase the quality of my videos and the photos I am taking almost daily. If you're a car photographer, videographer watching my video, you guys probably know that ND filter and a circular polarizer is almost necessary. I mean, circular polarizer is 100% necessary if you're doing anything car related, car shooting, photography, or videography. ND filters, not probably for everyone, but circular polarizer, it is 100% it's a necessity. So you guys probably know how important a circular polarizer is. And Polar Pro just makes the best quality filters. No color shift, no color color difference in the photos and the resulting photos. That's why I bought these filters. Enough talking about filters. For those of you guys who actually want to see more car stuff, I'm going to Porsche Carlsbad to test these out and see how they perform. And I actually, I'm gonna try to meet a service manager. The service manager who works at Hoenn Porsche or Carlsbad Porsche, whatever you like to call it, commented on my PTS Cobalt video I've done pretty while back. And he actually said, come by anytime and I'll give you a tour of the service department. And I've never been inside, I've seen it, but I've never been inside it. So I'm gonna go see if this guy is here and we're gonna just, Look at some more Porsches. Try putting the camera here while it's moving. I went to Irvine. Irvine is... And it is not a good idea. So I'm just gonna have to hold it, I guess, while I'm driving, which is perfectly fine. While I'm heading to Porsche Carlsbad, I just wanted to say for those of you guys who haven't watched my other Porsche Carlsbad videos, that this is now my favorite Porsche dealership in San Diego passing the only other Porsche dealership in San Diego, Porsche San Diego. Uh, I've said that so many Porsche San Diegos. But yeah, this is my favorite Porsche dealership in San Diego currently. And the sole reason is the customer service, the people who work there, and the architectural building. Although Porsche San Diego architecture, the building, the building is very clean and it's actually fairly new. It's not as new as this not even two month new building that Porsche Carlsbad just built. I'll give you a full tour when I get to the dealership. It is ridiculous. It's smaller than Porsche San Diego, but the, the design and layout of how actually they built this building is very impressive. I sound like, a, like an ad. I sound like a person who's trying to sell something, but this is exactly how I feel 
about the architectural building and I was even more excited when I first saw the building and went to the dealership. The view is something else too. Oh my god, the view, sunset, it is crazy. It's right next to the beach. So I'm on my way there. It's not going to take that long. It's only a 10, 15 minute drive at most to get there. So I'll see you guys when I arrive at Porsche Carlsbad. So I'm here at Porsche Carlsbad. This place is really, really nice. It's really well, well put. They have a second floor. They have three floors actually. I talked to the service manager, Sean. The general manager is also named Sean. So there's multiple Sean's I think who, who work here, but he's on the phone. He's gonna get back to me a little bit. I think he's gonna show me a little while, but I'm here on the second floor looking at this like, okay, you guys have to come. You guys have to come. I'm talking about this building, this building is, it's amazing. It's it's not big at all, but it's everything is where it needs to be. Just like I don't know, like an iPhone or a, a, a very good Porsche. Everything's where it needs to be. Uh, this late gray GT3, though, you have to look at this. This thing is just amazing. I actually took a picture. I actually took an Instagram picture in this car. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to actually step up my photo game. That's one reason why I actually bought these filters to increase the quality of my photos. So you guys will probably be seeing a lot higher quality photos and you could just tell that I'll be putting more time into my photos on Instagram. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to see some very, very cool photos. Now back on this late gray 0.2 GT3 in a manual gearbox and bucket seats. This is actually a very, very nice and unique spec. Pre-owned, 9,000 miles I believe, going for 199 grand, almost 200 grand. But you guys have to take in consideration, when the first owner bought it, probably bought it for more than like $230,000 I believe. So it went down $30,000, maybe even more with the amount of miles on it and being a pre-owned obviously but such a nice spec this car here is a cayman gts in chalk and look what the circular polarizer does this is it with the lot of glare and then you just twist it twist the circular polarizer to make it sort of cut the glare out you could just see the the difference and when i take a photo so you guys can see the massive difference with a polarizer without a polarizer. It just cuts the glare on the windshield and like the different parts of the car. Like right here, I'm filming with my ND with a built-in polarizer in it. So let's see. Let's see how good this one works. This is glare. Cut the glare. Just see that automatically. And when it comes to a very good looking car image, that makes the difference. And then also the blues, let's see, let's test out the blues. That. Little bit of difference. Not massive from what I could see, but a little bit of difference at this more time. I twist the polarizer you see a difference you see a little bit of difference now this built-in one i don't think it doesn't work as well as the regular circular polarizer but it's you can still definitely see the difference and just the glare right here let's test this one out the glare cuts, cuts it right away like that Boom. that's a lot of glare and then you cut that out so you guys can see the, the difference and the necessity of a circular polarizer when filming cars and also a lot of landscape photographers use this to darken the blues on the sky. So if you guys are gonna get into car photography, 
or is into car photography and don't have a circular polarizer, I really highly recommend one. There are different brands. You don't have to get a Polar Pro one. You don't have to get a $200 one. If you're just getting started, buy a Tiffin or a B Plus W, BN, BNW. There's just, dude, there's a lot of different brands out there, but beware, you know, the really cheap ones or some of them have a, a major color cast and you don't want that. It's just gonna ruin your whole image. So do some research, watch some videos on circular polarizers. So I'm inside, I think a 2019 Panamera Turbo Gran Turismo. So there's two different types of Panameras for those of you guys who don't know, just the regular Panamera and the Gran Turismo. The Gran Turismo has a different back. I don't know about the trunk size. It might be different. I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on it, but as a family car, I don't know if I, if I should go or if anyone should go with this or the Macan Turbo S. This or the Macan Turbo S. Now, they are different. I'm pretty sure they do drive different. This one does, ha I think, have more horsepower than the Macan Turbo S. The turbo with the, with the, the performance package, so it's more horsepower. But this one ha has more leg room too, I think. But you know, the headspace is different than the Macan Turbo. It drives different probably. I don't know, what is the better option? It's just, it's just nice in the back, it's comfortable. A long family trip in this car wouldn't be so bad compared to the Macan. Okay, I just got a full tour of the behind the scenes and all the, all the, the service center, all the, the back and all the parts, everything that you don't really normally see at a Porsche dealership here in Porsche Carlsbad by Sean, the service manager. We have two Sean's, the general manager and the service manager, but the service manager gave me the tour of all the behind the scenes. We talked for, I think, I think an, almost an hour of the place, uh, talked to everyone. The people who work here actually watch my video, my PTS Cobalt Blue video, the first video I made about this place. They watched it, uh, everyone said hi, they knew who I was and I was very, very, I, I was like shocked that they even watched my video. So if you guys are watching this video who work here, thank you guys so much. This is for those of you guys who said hi and I shook your hand, I gotta greet you. You guys are amazing people. I love what you guys are doing at this dealership. Everyone is very friendly. So if you are looking to buy a Porsche, honestly, there's no better place in hospitality that you're gonna get here than other Porsche dealership, even Irvine, Porsche San Diego. From my experience as a person who goes to these dealerships very often, I'm not trying to sell, I'm not gonna be biased or anything. They're not giving me anything in, in return for me to say this. Straight up, this is the best experience I've gotten out of any Porsche dealership. And I think this place is actually known for that. They have a very strong connection between the dealership and the customers and the clients that they have so this is the place that they're known for service center was good i got to see a very very nice pts gt2 rs uh, i don't know what it didn't really say the color it was it looked like a, a lighter slate gray maybe a uh, giorgio telestio i don't know how to i always butcher that name uh but you know the lamborghini color the iconic lamborghini color the giorgio telestio i don't know if that is uh, we saw that actually at Porsche South Bay. They had it, but I don't. It might look different because it was not in the sun. I'm not sure. Very nice looking, along with the Cobalt Blue and a lot of other GT cars here. This place, although they don't have an insane amount of GT cars, they have some nicely specced out cars. I got to give them that. Really nicely specced out cars. So that's gonna conclude this video for today. I spent I think more than three hours at this place, and it felt like like an hour. It didn't even feel that long. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to actually learn a little bit more about car photography and the polarizer, I know I didn't talk about it too much, but I explained the necessity of a polarizer when you're doing car photography. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.